going on legion as we here like always and man does it feel like i've it feels it feels like i've it's been a while since i've done a video <clears throat> yeah excuse me <laughs> uh i think yesterday i only uploaded one video and that was recorded the day before i believe i was getting ready for this game dragon's dogma that came out and uh yeah it was like streaming it for like eight hours and it was real fun but we're here again as like so there's been there's a few videos that i've seen making the rounds on the YouTubes and stuff. And uh, this one's no different. This is uh, 10 Cloverfield Lane. And uh, people are big fans of this movie. I always kind of felt like kind of disappointed. Kind of liked it. There was another one that came out that was kind of the similar thing. I believe. And it was just really weird. So we're going to check this out. <clears throat> My voice for some reason just started right now. To make gravelly noises. So we're gonna check this video out. We're gonna see what it's all about, and uh, I actually got a, an article or, or two. I got two things to talk about involving this, and if it's a sequel or not. So let's check this out. <laughs> Loud. so happy anymore is it oh shit she's like I'm making a break I won't be no one's sex toy John Goodman baby I hope it wasn't coming I hope it wasn't biological you'll understand what I mean Okay. 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 I get it. Three eleven sixteen. Cool. Coming out soon, ish. <coughs> okay, so it's not. <laughs> All right. So let's get to this article. I kind of read something about this. I I really just wanted to get into the article. Okay. So it's Bad Robots Ten Cloverfield Lane trailer. Is this a Cloverfield Two update with poster? Didn't need to read that. Paramount surprised audiences by releasing a new trailer attached to the Michael Bay's 13th or 13 hours, uh, the, the Secret Soldiers of Benghazi. So when the movie, you see all those bearded motherfuckers coming about and say, there's only, there's, it's only us, we got thir blah, 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 until people, yeah, that's the movie they're talking about, Michael Bay. If you don't know who Michael Bay is, go watch Epic Rap Battles of History. You know, the, uh, what is it, Spielberg and uh, 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 the Psycho Director. Go watch that epic rap battle. You'll know all you need to know about Michael Bay there. So this trailer, uh, this trailer <laughs> is from a movie that had yet to be officially titled. A new trailer from J.J. Abrams' produced company, Bad Robot. The trailer is for a film titled Ten Cloverfield Lane. Lane. <clears throat> Did J.J. Abrams and Bad Robot somehow secretly produce a sequel to Matt Reeves' uh, found footage sci-fi film Cloverfield? The trailer is below, which I will not be using this website as the link. I got the link on YouTube. This, though, if you want to read, is from um, SlashedFilms.com. Shout out to them for apparently getting this story, if it's all accurate. Uh, <clears throat> after surprising moviegoers who saw 13 Hours uh, with the new trailer on upcoming night. So that must have been... People must have lost their fucking minds for people that knew this movie. Because this movie has like a cult following, I think. I think it will too in the future. <clears throat> that was a weird sentence, but we'll roll with it. 13 hours with the new trailer of the upcoming night, Paramount Pictures has released an official version of the trailer online. Which the trailer above, I love the way they... Oh, this is his personal. I don't know why you put quote. I love the way they edited the music in this trailer. Thanks for putting quotations. I read that like everything else. 
The film looks like it could be a intense, uh, c- uh, contained thriller. Which that means, if this takes place in that bunker, this will be a really bad movie unless the ending makes it all worthwhile. Have you ever seen Phone Booth? Of course you haven't. It's a Jake Gyllenhaal movie, but that's not the reason why. It's because it takes place in a phone booth. Enough said. Have you ever seen the, uh, what's that one? Train? It's not Terminal. The one with Ethan Hawke going back, or is it Jake Gyllenhaal? Going back and back in time all the over, you know. It takes place in a train. If you're an anime, cartoon, or any kind of visually of, you know, fan of watching things, for me personally, anything that takes place in one location and at least doesn't give you the feel of it being huge and expansive, it, it kind of bothers me. Cabin Fever, it, it worked. Um, the Village, which is my rated number one worst movie ever because of who the damn creature was, it ruined it. I was really young, so it left a huge negative impact on me. I hate that movie. It's my number one least favorite movie of all time forever and always just saying so if you like it hey that's cool i was young when i saw it that's why i probably hate it so much because i didn't get the you know the benefits of having a movie with that kind of twist and uh basilisk i believe is the anime which takes place in nothing but a goddamn village multiple villages actually two and then a capital but all you see is either trees in three buildings or just a courtyard of the capital Makes me feel very claustrophobic. That's all I'm saying. So if this takes place in a bunker the whole time, which everybody knows Cloverfield is like that big monstery kind of thing. I believe that's the one I'm thinking of. Uh, that's going to kind of be disappointing for me personally. If you like it, all the same. Disappointing. No. Good for you. Uh, the film looks like... <coughs> Excuse me. Coughing. Is, is 10 Cloverfield Lane a Cloverfield sequel? My... Nostrils did something funny. <clears throat> is the movie a sequel to the film Cloverfield? Everything I had previously heard about this project made me believe it was a truly original thriller in the v- vein of misery, okay? But with a possible sci-fi mystery, mystery Jesus box twist, my gut tells me it is a direct Cloverfield sequel. But, that's not yet. But, It is a very curious that producer J.J. Abrams would release another unrelated film with Cloverfield in the title. So he's saying it'd be really weird if there was just Cloverfield blah 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 but it had nothing to do with the pandemic and the monster and the whole bullshit of the world ending. It was just, think of Michael Myers or, or Halloween Curse of the Witch I believe or something of the witch had nothing to do with Michael Myers. Not at all. It goes with one of the worst movies ever because it really is just a horrible movie all around. I don't think there actually is a witch in it, I don't believe. It's almost like, it's like this movie, Cloverfield. You never see the thing, really. I don't, it's been a long time. You don't really see the monsters. Cabin fever, it's a disease, so you don't see that shit. Um, Why am I yelling? Uh, It's because I'm tired and that's why, when I get tired I can read better. Is that anybody else? I'm really dyslexic. So reading, when I stop giving a fuck, it makes things easier for my mind. Side note. And uh, there was another, I was going to have another, I had another, uh, um, um, movie that was like, oh, um, Blair Witch. You never actually see it. If anybody's ever seen uh, uh, Paranormal Activity, The Ghost Dimension, Toby has a, Toby, man, it's a good movie. It, despite the the cursed, the marked ones, that was really bad. Have you ever seen the prequel, which is, I believe, the third one, and the little girl gets her head, her hair pulled and lifted off the ground by Toby, which is the invisible. Just watch the Ghost Dimension, man, and you'll know it. And for anybody that's seen it, holy shit, the next one should be the greatest paranormal, unless they really screw it up, and it becomes like a slasher film. Side note. Um. But I'm very curious that J.J. Abrams would make another movie with the same title. And a surprise trailer debut in front of Bay's 13 Hour mirrors the mysterious and now infamous attachment. So people are trying to, you know, they're thinking that 10 Cloverfield Lane is going to somehow, or it's somehow synonymous now with 13 Hours. I'm sure 13 Hours won't be synonymous with 13 Hours, the movie. 
Just saying. Uh, the trailer of Base 2000. Oh, Mr. Oh, sorry. It's uh, <laughs> now mysterious, infamous attachment of the trailer on Bay's 2007 film Transformers. I got a little wrong. I kind of threw some shade on 13 hours. It's it's deserved, but I'm still sorry. And I jumped the gun a little bit. It's synonymous with Transformers. Uh, <coughs> God, I got the coffin. The trailer featured just uh, just produced by J.J. Abrams and a release date of 1-18-08. What? Oh, yeah, the last one. I was like, uh... So they invented time travel. That's neat. Can I go back and, you know, redo high school? Um, okay, up, update. Producer J.J. Abrams has issued a statement. The coll Collider, or whatever... What is the what does that stand for? There's a link. Let me read the link real quick. God, this, this is gonna go on forever. Oh, Collider. It's just another website. A lot. Hey, look, Star Wars Rebels. It's another the next video I'm reacting to. I didn't. No, I'll save that for the next video. Fuck it. Um, Collider saying the following. Oh, they have a link. Yeah, Collider the website has a link or whatever from J a statement from JJ supposedly. The idea came up. This is JJ. The idea came up a long time ago during production. We wanted to make it a blood relative headset. A blood... I don't actually need these anymore. It just helps me... Uh, we wanted it to be a blood relative of Cloverfield. The idea was developed over time. We wanted to hold back the title for as long as possible. Does this look weird? Okay, it looks weird. You don't know me like that. You don't know me like naked without these. What does being a blood relative of Cloverfield mean? We don't know. Meanwhile, a member who a member who uh, participated in the test screening of Valencia, I heard about that, son of a bitch, I wish I would have known, confirms that 10 Cloverfield Lane is the same movie he or the same movie and says that that the cut he saw was not a direct sequel to Cloverfield. So I'm assuming 10 Cloverfield Lane is more of a cousin than a sequel. I saw this tweet from Drew McWeeny and, and tend to agree with his assessment. Just imagine this is this is Drew at Hit Fix. Shout out to you, man. Drew at Hit Fix. Just so I guess Drew Weenie's his name. Sucks. I mean, it's like Tucker Boner. Sorry. Just imagine this is a shot at creating a bad robot anthology banner. If it says Cloverfield on it, you can expect twists and wild ideas. So that's not a bad thing. That's to say that bad robot wants to have something that is their legacy, that is everything they have to say we make the craziest mind effing trailers or movies, uh, I should say. In general, IMBD has something. I read it. It was important, I thought. Waking up from a car accident, a young woman finds herself in a basement uh, of a man who says, that's John Goodman, says he's saved her life from a chemical attack that has left the outside uninhabitable. If it is biological, which it shouldn't be, okay, the movie's going to suck. If it's he thinks, or it's just he can't come bring himself to say that it's a giant monsters, um, then you know that's a whole different scenario. But he says that he saved her from a chemical attack. Um, so I'm thinking that should be good. Like he's lying. We don't know what his character is. Oh, see, there's the monsters right there. So you do see him, I guess. Parasites? Man, it's been a long time since I've seen this movie. I don't remember any of these being in here. This is kind of nuts. Like, I'm seeing what looks like clips. I thought Cloverfield, yeah, Cloverfield was the found footage, I believe. Oh, shit, yeah, okay. Because the the, the commercial was him, the, uh, the, the preview of the first one was the guy running up the stairwell with the camera, opening, going, oh, my God, duh, what? And... All of a sudden, you're like, what is it? And you don't show it. And I'm like, okay. And then the entire movie, you don't see anything. 
until like the very end, I believe. And I believe, if I am completely wrong, there might be, I think it's this one. This is the one where the guy's going from like Mexico to the US and he's like on a boat and shit and there's all kinds of bullshit. Why is there a, there's a parasite from Cloverfield having sex with the Statue of Liberty? That didn't happen. That's, that's not a thing, people. Ending? Ooh, what's ending? Excuse me, hold on. Ending. Uh, oh, ending of the movie? Is that Cloverfield ending? Oops. Yeah. I ain't gonna tell you what the ending is. I believe that that's what it was. Because there's one where there's like a, a red zone, right? There's like, I don't know if it's the same movie. Because I, I don't believe that was very good. So I don't think it was. But there's this one where the guy's trying to get back to the U.S. And he's in this raft. And there's like red zones on the map where he's not supposed to go. Because shit just hit the fan. I thought that was Cloverfield. I'm just gonna fucking watch it tonight. I'm just gonna watch it again. Uh, at some point, I remember Cloverfield. I did see it, despite the fact that I don't remember really anything that happened. I believe it was a pretty lackluster movie altogether. Not super great. That's why it makes it a cult classic. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you... Why the hell is my name on this? Okay, Mom. She gave me a mug. Those ice mugs. One of those. She put my name on it. I ain't got to show it to you. My name's Azrael. Fuck off. So yeah, um, I'm hoping this one's better. If if I wa rewatch this movie and it is, is, why am I yelling? And it is as lackluster as it was, then I'm, then I'm I'm not having a lot of hope for the sequel. Anyways, yeah, I hope you got a lot out of this. Uh, like I said, I've been watching a lot of stuff about people really slamming reactors and seeing a lot of good reactors that do a lot of important stuff. Uh, we all know Tyrone and, you know, he was in this said video because I watched Ryan Wright. And he thought that Tyrone didn't belong in there. And uh, Ryan said, you know, he was glad that he wasn't in there because he likes to do reviews and discuss. That's why my videos take so goddamn long. Like, that's why they're so long. Minus the editing part. Editing? I say it so stupidly. Stupidly? And, yeah. So I always try to discuss, give my real opinion and what I hope or think the movie or the trailer or whatever's gonna be is gonna happen. I called Star Wars, motherfuckers. Told you that was Ben Solo. Knew it. And, uh, yeah, so that wasn't a surprise. But I like to discuss, and I'm hoping that this... I didn't... I'm curious about Cloverfield, the, 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 the branch off, not the sequel. I'm curious, too. That's why I took the time to look up the article and found there's an IMBD for it, which gives it some kind of authentication, I believe, because IMBD is what celebrities refer to. They don't use... No celebrity references wiki. They always talk about getting on IMBD because it's like, it's a part of that. So I kind of try to take it, not as its word, but as it's an, of, an official source. So I hope that you enjoyed my video. I hope that you stayed. I'm going to so sell out and say, if you stayed at the very end of this video, give me a like. Yeah, I did it. I went there. I'm taking notes from you YouTubers. So don't don't blame me. It's It's your bad influence. I know I'm older than you. It doesn't matter. And I am older than most. So, oh, give me, ooh, uh, Jesus, I got caught in mouth. I just got out of the shower. It's just all kinds of something. So, yeah, I'm hoping that this kind of falls in the category. Like I said, I didn't do this because of those situations. I was generally curious and wanted to know. But I'm hoping that reviewing or discussing shows that I'm taking the time, the effort, and the desire to make this channel something more than just a fuck just doing this and I know the Clover Field wasn't su I wasn't super reacting to it because it's it was what it was I was I was just not really impressed with it but I try not to just have a blank stare on my face which I see a lot of other reactors and some that are actually making a name for themselves are getting kind of pulled in that loop of of hate towards reactors so I hope I'm I'm doing I'm I'm not as official I don't have a partner sitting right here with me I don't got scripts i don't got any of that kind of stuff it's just me guys so i'm hoping that this kind of shows that i'm putting the real effort in it i'm not just trying to leech off of other people's jesus success or trailers and and for anybody that thinks that and you watch any game content person on there as a twitch streamer i view react reactors that do a real a, the do the job that do the everything that there is to do reactants and not just watching it I don't find them any different than playing video games at the very core. Of course, you're interacting with the material. You're doing something different in a video game. 
But overall, nobody gives a fuck about that game. It's you getting fake mad at Friday Nights of Freddy's or a fake jump scare, you know, or any of that. I mean, hell, I like to think that uh, Jack, and I'm not going to go into who he is. If you know who I'm talking about, you know, protecting the pineapple, then you got it. You know. If that's just who he is or a character or whatever, and he's doing it to do it because he likes to do it, that's different than just, you know, say, reactors are stupid. They just rip everything off. Let me play them. Oh, my God. There's no, at the core, your motivations are the same. It's to be entertaining. That's all I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to be entertaining. If you watch a, a comedian, I said this before, if you watch a comedian and you like his joke and you wait for the next one, then you're kind of like the producer type. You're just kind of, that. that's your mindset. But for people that watch the comedian and the best part is the crowd around them and the kind of emotions they admit and you enjoying seeing that, not as an actual reaction, but just... So the point you can appreciate his talent and the emotion that is flowing, I think that makes you more of an entertainer. I think that shows that you have a connection with people. You're the person going, I want to make this good. Everybody that hates the official reactors or people that do that kind of stuff are the people going, I just want to put out the next episode. That's it, because people are going to watch it. There's a difference. You need both sides to make something good. You can't have one or the other. I'm just doing this. That's kind of why my shit sucks. Anyways, okay, long enough. Later. Uh, if you like, if you like the video, like the content, you like everything that's going on here, uh, leave a comment below. Let me know that you like it. If you don't, leave a comment below. Let me know that you disliked it. Uh, don't be a fuck and just say something stupid and leave, because that's not constructive and that shows that you're just you know five. Uh, but if you do leave a comment and all that good stuff. I love to see and love to hear you, and I appreciate it. If you want to do anything beyond that, subscribe in and like and share. It's completely up to you. Of course, I'm going to appreciate it. It helps me out. But if you don't feel that I'm worthy, no need, man. I understand. Hope to see you again later.